Welcome to the Minnesota Bee Atlas, a citizen science project mapping the distribution and diversity of wild bees in Minnesota. Although most people are familiar with honeybees and bumblebees, many do not realize that there are almost 400 other species of native bees in Minnesota. Using observations from citizen scientists and existing data from the University of Minnesota and the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources, the Minnesota Bee Atlas will create a publicly accessible database of bee species found in Minnesota. Why would it matter which bees live where? Wild bees are vital parts of Minnesota ecosystems, providing food for other native animals as well as pollination services for native plants and many of our food crops. Information on the number of bees, their seasonal activity, and their whereabouts will be useful for land managers and landowners. Minnesota is fortunate to have many people at the University of Minnesota and the Department of Natural Resources studying native pollinators, and the Bee Atlas will utilize this data to create a statewide searchable database. How will we do this? There are three pathways to participate in the Minnesota Bee Atlas. Anecdotal observations, structured bumblebee observations, and observations of nesting blocks. Anecdotal observations can be submitted by anybody who photographs a bee in Minnesota. These photos can be submitted to the website or smartphone app, iNaturalist, with or without identification. Join the project Minnesota Bee Atlas to make sure your observations are included. To participate in the bumblebee portion of the Bee Atlas, you must attend a one-day workshop where you will learn to identify the 18 species of bumblebees in Minnesota and proper survey techniques. Volunteers will adopt a survey route and visit once each month from June to August. To gather information on stem nesting bees, we have distributed 125 nesting blocks across the state. Stem or tunnel nesting bees will lay their eggs in the holes throughout the summer. Volunteers monitoring the blocks will observe when nests are built, which holes they're built in, and what they are made of. This information will help our entomologists identify the species in that nest after the larvae are raised to adults. For more information about the Minnesota Bee Atlas, visit z.umn.edu slash beeatlas or look for us on Facebook. Thank you.